हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर वसंत बोरस्ते फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कॉमर्स के टी कॉलेज नासिक टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू द सिलेबस एंड द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द कोर्स हियर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू अबाउट द सिलेबस ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट अकाउंटिंग व्हिच इज फॉर सेमेस्टर सेकंड एंड सेमेस्टर सेकंड दैट इज ओवरऑल सेमेस्टर फोर फॉर सेकंड ईयर बी कॉम द बेसिक ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द कोर्स दैट इज कॉर्पोरेट अकाउंटिंग इज टू एक्वेंट द स्टूडेंट विद द नॉलेज ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट पॉलिसीज of investment for expansion and growth through purchase of stake in our absorption of a same uh, smaller units so here the syllabus is basically comprises the various kinds of investments as well as the um, knowledge regarding corporate policies uh, with uh, the second objective of the course is to develop the knowledge among the students about consolidation of financial statement with the process of holdings so uh, the whatever the process is there Uh, we have to study uh, in holding company account and in a holding company what kind of um, uh, activities or what kind of adjustment are to be done we are going to discuss over here the third objective is to update the students with the knowledge of process uh, process of liquidation of a company here we are going to study the um, topic uh, called as liquidation of a company where if any 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 condition if any company goes into liquidation at that time what kind of adjustment have to be done and how to whom we have to pay the money we have to study the uh, that process that is called as liquidation of company and the last objective is to introduce the students with the recent trends in the field of accountancy uh, uh, student as you know we have to study the accounting of corporate that is corporate accounting where we have to study various kinds of trends to co cope up with the new technologies and new things which are happening in the market for that purpose the fourth chapter is called as uh, forensic account is introduced and that is called as recent trends so we have to study the that recent trends and now here you can see the syllabus of uh, semester 4 for corporate accounting the first chapter is holding company account second chapter is absorption of companies third one is accounting for liquidation of companies and fourth one is forensic accounting as i earlier mentioned so we have to study this four chapter accordingly for the semester 4 and uh, Uh, first one is holding uh, where we will study how a whole how one company hold another company and what kind of uh, what is uh, what is the other company which is called as subsidiary company second one is absorption in case if any company absorb another company at that time what kind of accounting has to be done we have to study over here after that accounting for liquidation of companies where if any company goes into liquidation or we can say wind up at that time what kind of accounting has to be done we have to study over here Uh, with this uh, we have another uh, recent uh, trends or recent topic in our syllabus that is forensic account where we have study where we have to study what kind of activities and what, uh, just like uh, if you uh, observe any kind of um, uh, murder in history or what we can say a uh, you know, movie where the forensic report or forensic lab report is important in the same way in accounting the topic called as forensic forensic is introduced over here So we will study uh, at the last uh, that is forensic accounting. Uh, just uh, go through one by one chapter. First one is uh, holding company account, where we have to study calculation of capital profit, calculation of revenue profit, uh, the profit which is uh, called as capital profit and what profit is called as revenue profit. We have to study over here. Say for example, A company is there and B company is there. A company is a holding company, is a big fish, is a big company, and B company is a small company. A company hold hold at least 51% shares of B company. In that case, A company is called as hold com holding company, and B company is called as subsidiary company. Uh, the date of acquisition is important over here in the holding company. Uh, the particular date is mentioned. The day the date of acquisition is important uh, from capital profit point of view that. Uh, on which date the company is acquired say for example a company acquired b company on 1st of october that mean before the 1st of october october the profit is called as capital profit and after the 1st october the profit is called as revenue profit so this is the basic bifurcation between capital profit and revenue profit we have to study the uh, meaning and calculation of capital profit as well as revenue profit after that we have to calculate the cost of control then we have to prepare Uh, consolidated balance sheet of holding company with this one subsidiary only actually one company can hold uh, more than one company but uh, in your syllabus there is only one holding company and one subsidiary company say for example a company holds b company 
uh, in that case you have to prepare a consolidated balance sheet of a company with the holding subsidiary b, b limited so here we have to prepare the consolidated balance sheet that, that is called as a combined balance sheet of holding and subsidiary company the last point of uh, the topic uh, last point of study is that adjustment of intermediate uh, intercompany transaction unrealized profit of stock we have to study here say for example a company hold uh, b company in that case a company and b company have some intercompany transactions at that time there may be unrealized profit we have to calculate the stocks as well as unrealized profit uh, in this case uh the second chapter of our study or our syllabus is absorption of companies where we have to study the introduction of the absorption but the meaning of absorption of companies as well as vendor and purchasing companies purchase consideration we have to study how one company absorb another company in what sense it has been absorbed that at that time we have to uh, calculate the purchase consideration the purchase consideration means an amount which, are, which has to be paid by the purchasing company to the vendor company so in that case we have to uh, calculate the purchase consideration it may be uh, many times it may be a lump sum purchase consideration or many times it may be a uh, assets minus liabilities that is assets taken or minus liabilities taken or the balance amount in the uh, it's called as the purchase consideration whatever it may be we will study it later on after that we have to study in, in absorption of company that is accounting entries in the books of vendor company that is the company which is absorbed and general entry in the preparation of balance sheet after absorption in the books of purchasing company say for example uh, a company is a uh, vendor company and b company is uh, purchasing company in that case b company purchased the company of a company so we have to uh, uh, prepare the balance sheet after the after the purchasing after that we have a uh, chapter number three that is accounting for liquidation of companies so here you have to study what do you mean by liquidation and how companies uh, goes into liquidation uh, we have to study over here uh, in that case uh, we have to study the meaning of liquidation and modes of winding up why company uh, goes into liquidation what kind of modes are there we have to study over here preparation of liquidators final statement of account we have to you have to prepare as well as preparation of statement of affairs and efficiency account if needed so uh, liquidation is me uh, simply means that a company goes into liquidation that means company wind up uh, when any company wind up at that time there uh, in the balance sheet there are certain liabilities as well as assets so when any company goes into liquidation we have to we have to means company have to pay all the liabilities in that case to whom we have to pay first and to whom we have to pay last the process is called as liquidation of company and there is a certain priority or we can say a priority of payment is given by the companies act 1956 as well as 2013 so we have to study that um, uh, priority of payment and according to that priority uh, the liquidator has to uh, prepare the final statement of account uh, for the liquidation the person who is appointed is called as liquidator and liquidator has to prepare the final statement of account where he has to mention the way uh, uh, where he has to receive some remuneration also and he has to sell all the assets as well as uh, whatever uh, stocks and what kind of funds investment whatever it may be there he has to sold all the assets in the market and from the selling of the asset he has to pay all the money to the liability holder so the process is called as a liquidation of company our next chapter is forensic account where we have to study what do you mean by forensic accounting its types of forensic accounting as well as nature and key of forensic accounting ethical principles uh, ethical principles and responsibilities of forensic accounting so uh, this is our last chapter uh, is called as forensic accounting this topic is completely new and uh, majority part of this topic is theoretical so we have to study over here in the last chapter and now uh, let's uh, let's see the reference books and list of books or we can say list of books recommended by the Savitri Pai Pule Pune University as a reference book you can see here advanced accounting by MC Shukla SP Garewal which is published by S. Chand and Company Limited, then Advanced Accounting of SP, uh, SP Jain K. Naran, then Accountancy of Gupta uh, Ram, Radhaswami, then Jain and Naran, Paul Sir, uh, Maheshwari and Maheshwari and Mukherjee and Hanif. So this is the list of uh, reference book which is given in the syllabus by the university. You may um, uh, search on YouTube or on Google uh, regarding these books. Or you may purchase in the market purchase it from the market uh, 
these are some useful links and websites for your uh, students point of view uh, this is the website and link for college website that is for admission as well as notices then we college have a learning youtube channel so this is the youtube channel link of uh, ktm college then uh, the third one is the link for notice and app that is ktm uh, telegram channel ktm college e learning android app as our college has developed a learning app that is ktm e learning you can uh, download it from play store or you may directly search uh, from clicking over here or you may uh, type this link i am i have already provided this link on telegram group, group as well as whatsapp groups this is the university website and we have uh, you can search for your syllabus university exam form timetable results etc this is the Savitri by Pune University uh, link that is unipune.ac.in. Uh, this is the link for a timetable. Uh, this is link for exam, then exam form, then a result link. If anybody want to be a CAE, and then the link for CA website is given that is ICI.org. CME website is there. And uh, if you want to admit for yourself for MBA, then CET link is there. And as well as if you want to be a CS, a link for CS is given. So with this I would like to say thank you, thank you very much. In the next lecture we will study uh, the first chapter um, that is holding company accounts, uh, then absorption of companies, accounting for liquidation and forensic account. Now I am going to start the third chapter that is accounting for liquidation of companies. Uh, after that we will start holding company and absorption of companies uh, as well as uh, forensic accounting. Thank you, thank you very much.